So for real, it actually all happened by accident. I mean, $4,000 within about 48 to 52 hours. I was kind of like, what did I just do? <laughs> Y'all, it's your boy, DJ Richie Sky. In case you don't know, I am a news and entertainment personality. I sometimes do Fox 5 DC. I've done MSNBC. I've been featured on Bravo and OWN, all that good stuff. But that's not what I'm here to talk to y'all about today. I'm here to tell y'all about how I accidentally, did I manifest it or did I create it? Okay, that's the question. I feel like I created a stream of income for myself by accident. Yes, let me tell you about my experience creating my very first ebook, okay? So to be honest with you, I had this idea about telling people or coaching people through the process of how I got to where I got to on YouTube. So if you follow me on my news channel, you'll know that we're at about 200,000 subscribers at this point. At that point, I think I was maybe at 100,000 subscribers. And so I said to myself, I was like, you know, I get a lot of requests from people asking me for YouTube coaching and that sort of thing. And I thought for so long that, well, you know, honestly, there are people with larger followings than me that they could go to and get that advice from. You know, there's other creators that already, I'm sure, have some type of ebook or course. And then I said to myself, but they're not me and I'm not them. So they got their own sauce, right? And I got my own sauce. And so for real, for real, it really just depends on who resonates most with me in terms of my audience, right? And my audience was already asking me for an ebook, for a course, for mentorship. So I said, okay, let me put together this ebook. Now, here's the thing. Looking back, I wasted so much time, y'all. I wasted so much time trying to figure out like, what does the format for an ebook look like? I mean, I'm a writer by trade, like I, studied broadcast journalism, mass communications in undergrad, advertising management, public relations in grad school. You know, I've worked in radio, I've worked in TV, news, I've done it all, right? So writing comes second nature to me, but in terms of writing an ebook that's meaningful, what is the process? And so I really decided, honestly, the best way to do this would be to tell my story. So. I literally organized what I learned about my YouTube journey in the context of my very own story. What did I do? How did I get from point A to point Z with my experience on YouTube? What did I learn and what could I teach people? And so after about a week of organizing my thoughts, I sat down and I started writing. So I had a chapter outline. I pretty much laid it all out, the foundations of my story. Now that ebook, I will put it in the description link of this video so that you guys can check it out for yourself in case you are interested. It is really a great tool for content creators who are looking to grow on YouTube, create their own content, sell their own digital products. I lay it out for you completely flat, my story, all of it, right? So I said, okay, I said about writing it. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth for me. It took me probably about two weeks to write the book. So this entire process took me about three weeks. And looking back at it, knowing what I know now, I literally was creating a framework for storytelling and creating an ebook that would go on to sell and motivate people and inspire them to then create their own. That is how I landed my first client who ultimately, after one video, okay? she done a couple of other videos first, but the one video that really took off for her, initially at that point in time during our coaching session, it had made her about $7,000. And it took her all of maybe 30 minutes to do, right? To make this video. Not to mention the amount of sales that she had gotten for her products and now courses that she is teaching, all of her students have come from 
YouTube, yes. Oh my God. So literally I just knew that I was sitting on a gold mine for people who wanted to build an audience that was not necessarily around news content, right? If you wanna do news, that's a different ball game to me. And I think that if that's what you love, if that's your passion, I think you should do it. Absolutely 100%. But for real, for real, I felt like also too, I wanted to really reach people that weren't maybe interested in news. I wanted to reach people that wanted to do something more with their business, right? A way for them to grow their platform, grow their business, sell their products and services and courses and whatnot. I wanted to do that. So anyway, wrote the ebook, right? About two weeks later, I get a call from a pretty big influencer, somebody who is an amazing coach, who has a beautifully like built platform of amazing people. And so she invited me on to do a 30 minute conversation about my story with growing on YouTube. Now, let me tell you about the power of manifestation right there. Me having this idea to do this, right? And then followed up by this invitation to speak on this, not once, but twice, okay? The second time was a month later and it was for a different event. But this first time I was like, wow. So I literally packaged the ebook. I figured out a place to upload it. And from there, I just kind of left it. And then I did the event. It was a 30 minute live where I talked to her audience about the power of YouTube, my story, how I got to be where I was on YouTube. Because for me, I feel like number one, I'm not a, I'm a believer in mastering things one at a time, right? So for me, I would suggest if YouTube is your channel of choice, that you focus on that first, right? Get really good at creating valuable content there. Create value and create content. Valuable content, get it? All right, so there's that. So I'm a believer in doing that. So that's kind of where my, uh, that's where my advice stems from, to be very honest with you, is creating on YouTube to me is a great platform for not only you to get paid for the content that you create, but also to generate revenue for the products and services that coincide or go alongside your business. So anyway, did this live and I could literally see after I got off the phone, I could see the sales like just rolling in. And I'm thinking to myself like, what is happening right now? Like. I'm used to making, like generating income through like social media, brand sponsorships and stuff like that. But like to see it coming in from something that I created for the love of simply creating, I just said, wow, like that is kind of crazy. And I know that people kind of get a little iffy about income claims and that sort of thing when it comes to YouTube. And that's fine. I, I really can't really get into that. I'm only telling you my experience to let you know that it's possible, right? It's real. What I'm telling you, it is possible for you to do as well. Now, I can't guarantee you that you're going to have the same output, that you're going to have the same result. But what I can say is this was the method for which I, I kind of feel like I created this income stream for myself. So after that weekend, I was like, oh, that was a nice little, you know, uh, chunk of change right there. You know, $4,000, that's not too bad. Now, to be honest with you guys, I didn't look at that as a business for me. I didn't see the value in it because I was so focused on creating news content and, you know, the other brand things that I was doing that I didn't think this could be my business moving forward you know, inspiring, motivating, and teaching people what I know, not only about YouTube, but also connecting the products and services so that they could build an engine that's sustainable and scalable, simply using the power of YouTube. In my mind, I'm thinking to myself, what was I thinking? That is my biggest mistake. But let me tell you something, God is good because I have come full circle with that whole situation. 
So now again, I am re-engaging my business acumen. I am getting back into the business of coaching and teaching and I'm super excited. Y'all, my first ebook is down in the description down below. My ebook and a day course will be out shortly. Yes, it is going to be a course that is going to show you how to use a storytelling framework for an easy breezy ebook in a day, okay? It is meant for you to write an ebook by telling your own story. Because storytelling to me is really story selling, to be honest with you. And when people buy into your story or your brand story, that's when you start to develop customers that last for a lifetime, right? And so what we wanna do is, you know, listen, if people, I, I, I totally understand that there are private label rights, you know, ebooks out there that you can purchase and sell, you know, master resale uh, rights books that you can sell as well. And I think that those are great too. And we'll touch on those in another video and how to build a sustainable business with those because I do think that there is something that you need to learn in order to build a platform or a business that you can manage for the long haul with that type of content or with that type of product. But I do think that this right here, what I want to do is I want to specifically touch on people who have a story to tell, who may not have the income to go out and purchase a PLR product or a master resale product. Um, and, and they just want to build an ebook that tells people how to solve a problem. And we do that through storytelling. And so I've developed a storytelling framework that I'm super excited about. And I hope that you are, you know, just, I, my goal is that the people that I work with, because I want to work with people for the long run. And the people that I work with, I really want them to have a desire to develop product and services that have impact, that are conduits for change, that solve a problem, that become staples in people's lives, right? And what I've also come to learn is that monetizing your mind is actually probably the smartest thing that you can do in this day and time. So that is my story on how in just about a weekend, I was able to generate about $4,000 with an ebook that at the time was only $16.99. So it can be done, y'all. You can change your financial situation. You can change your situation simply by monetizing your mind, using what you know to grow and not letting perfection stop you in the process. All right. So if you guys want more information, click the link in the description down below. And um, I will keep you guys up to date on how the ebook and the day course is going. I will probably list it for a price that's really, really easy, accessible for the beginning, like just like just to start right in the beginning. And then as I grow it out, then, you know, we'll raise the price as we start to see some trending sales and we get some great reviews. And then you guys can just simply model my process to do the same for yours. All right. So let's do this together. It's kind of a done with you type of situation because you can simply leverage what you see me do here to do what you want to do for yourself. All right. So with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video.